What's up, Koi lovers and Fitz fam? Today, I'm gonna share with you guys the secret around growing fish from this big to this big, right here in New Jersey. It's no secret right now that all you've heard about is increased shipping prices. Shipping is just at an all-time high all over the world. And we're gonna fix that problem right here with our koi because we're gonna grow our toe side from this big to this big in just eight months here on the farm. So what we've done over the past few days is we had, no joke, 16,000 tosai here on the farm. We went through every single one of those fish and we only picked the 500 best fish that we thought. And I don't mean that there's no other good fish left for our customers, there's plenty of good fish. But we're taking those small fish and we're reinvesting in our future and your future as a koi owner. So guys, take a look, come up here. All day, over the past couple days, we went through different tanks and we selected all these different varieties from each breeder. With the shipping cost being so crazy, is right now, I could put 150 koi of this size in one box. But to ship the next size up this big, I can only fit eight koi from Japan to here. What does that do? That adds $50 of just freight onto that koi. And that drives me crazy. These fish cost more than my airline ticket to go back and forth to Japan. Insane, right? So we're solving that problem today by growing these fish on our farm. So the quarantine period has only been here about three, four weeks now. We know these fish are good and healthy. So we're gonna separate these fish that we wanna feed heavily from our current stock right now. And we didn't pick the best fish, we picked good fish that we wanna grow on, but we look for fish that are guaranteed to be good. Ginrin Chagoy, Platinum Ogon, you know, Ginrin Saragoy, Ochiva, all that kind of stuff, Yamabuki, fish that we know we're gonna sell in our stores on a regular basis. But this is a great investment for us back into our business. I and mean, we could go buy some stocks or Bitcoin or whatever, but we're choosing to reinvest in the future at Fitz Fish Pond by buying these small koi and getting them this big. And I'm tired of paying the airline a ton of money to ship the koi. If you saw my shipping bill, you'd, you'd pass out. Oh my God, I don't even want to look at it ever again. I just paid it. And uh, seriously guys, it was insane. I never want to pay a shipping bill like that ever again. I could have just flown a private jet back and forth to Japan for what they charged me. But that's this tank right here, Osaka. He's famous for Kage Shirotsuri, Shirotsuri, Akamatsuba, all these varieties that as Nisai are great fish. And what does that mean to you, the consumer? Well, you're gonna get a higher quality koi grown here right in New Jersey from Tosai, so it's still a Japanese koi. And then, it's gonna be at a better price because we're not paying that freight on it. And we're gonna have that fish readily available. Your nose is gonna be really strong and healthy because it's been in New Jersey for at least a year already growing. So we're gonna take these fish and get them to their next size. And we're really excited because, guys, we're running out of greenhouses. We're building a brand new greenhouse on the farm just for these fish. It's gonna be 100 feet long by 30 feet wide with another 50,000 gallons of water, completely heated, just to grow tosai. We thought about doing mud ponds, which we're going to do one day, but right now, it's easier for us to do it inside of the greenhouse where we can protect the fish from outside predators. So, stay tuned for that video. But, these guys are gonna sit right here. Let's hop over to the next tank and see what kind of fish we're gonna grow over there. So we have this one breeder in Japan. He's called Ikarashi Kazuto. He has a place up in Niigata and down in Ojia. And he breeds, as uh, my buddy Tim Waddington would say, the weird and wonderful stuff. For the UK, they make fun of it, whatever, but in America, I love it, our customers love it. We bought over a thousand tosai just from him, and we picked out only 50 fish that we wanna grow on. There's still plenty of really good variety here to have on the farm for the tosai for the wholesale customers, but out of these 50, I am thrilled to show you guys what we have. And it's, we just did this yesterday, so the koi have only been in the net cage for just a little bit of time. But we're gonna turn some of these little koi into some massive Nisai. Check these out. Kin Showa, Deutsch Showa, Ginrin Ochiba. Just think about these fish when they're gonna be a foot and a half, two feet long.
Wow, look at this Deutsch shower. So guys, a fish like this, right now, I can only fit 40 of them in one box from Japan, right there. Now take a walk with me real quick. I'll show you guys. I actually bought Nisai from Ikarashi this year. They're spectacular. So check these out. All right. So that fish right there was 40 per box. The Nisai that I bought from Ikarashi, he only fit four fish per box. That means I have to divide a shipping cost of nearly $500 by four fish versus 50 fish. This is what a two-year-old fish looks like from Ikarashi. And we have no problem getting our koi this big here on the farm in eight months. We tested it on a small scale last year, so we know it's going to work. I'll catch a few more just to show you guys the variety. Right here, only four of those in a box. So we can take those 50 koi, spend that money on food instead of on fuel for the airplane and get these koi nice and big, get them to at a better price for next season. So I'm super excited about this and we can't wait for people to come to the farm and see this new Tosai grow out facility and we'll keep videos and pictures as we build this whole thing out. But it's going to be amazing. Uh, if you guys have a variety you want us to grow out, let us know. We'll be happy to pick out some small fish for you and grow them out here on the farm so we can make sure we have the Nisai that you want available. There's one more fish in here I want to show you guys. It's really cool. Check this one out. It's like a dragon scaled, really cool fish. What kind of koi are these? Right here, these are key kinshoa. The key is because it's yellow, and the kinshoa because it's metallic. Really cool. I have tons of them. Right now, I was only able to get four from Japan. There's a limited selection and variety available, but out of the ones we just picked, I've at least have 15 ready to grow out. So we're gonna be growing these fish right here on the farm, getting them to the perfect size, and the fish are gonna be nice and strong, ready for the spring. But really amazing pattern, great koi. And just to show you that these fish are only a year older than those fish. And we're going to do this right here on the farm this year. So really exciting. And we can't wait to get you guys some nice, healthy, beautiful fish. Born in Japan, raised in New Jersey. So stay tuned for the next video where we show you when we're breaking ground on our new Tosai Grow Up facility. I even feel a little crazy that I'm doing that. It's like building a greenhouse, building a greenhouse, but hey, we gotta keep growing the fish. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys in the next one.